Now, hunter access is one of the most important components of uh, property management, herd management, and really advanced strategy deer hunting. And screening is a great fit for access because there's a lot of different screening plantings that you can use to make sure the deer never see you when you're actually getting in and out of the property. Now we've talked about different screening types in previous videos and what to screen, how to screen food plots to establish doe bedding, which actually brings doe bedding out of the woods, which may in closer to the food plot, which frees up space back in your woods for bucks. But all that being said, creating screening lines are really important for field edges, ag fields, big open expanses where hunters want to get in and out of stands and possibly track a half mile, quarter mile, 100 yards, whatever it is, to stand locations without spooking deer that might be out in those open areas. Now there's various different types of screens that you can plant. You can plant Egyptian wheat, which is an annual, or some type of plot screen that has a mixture of sorghum, Egyptian wheat, like northwoodswhitetails.com, like what they plant or what they offer. He specializes in screening. That's one of the plants, uh, one of the seeds that we buy from and uh, companies, and they, they do a great job at uh, screening brassicas, uh, switchgrass, different types of food plots, shrubs, conifers, and then we've talked a lot about switchgrass. This happens to be about a quarter mile strip right here that we're using as a screening strip on this bench to make sure the deer on this side don't see the hunters in movement and now a mountain bike course on this side. If this was conifers, I'd like to stagger four rows, pines, quick growing pines, and then spruce. That whole process takes quite a bit of time. If I only need six, seven feet of screening here, then planting those conifers, although they're long lasting for decades or more, um, takes a lot of work and effort. This switchgrass line here, which is about 15, 12 to 20 feet wide, depending on what we're at in here, um, took us about, with the, with the uh, RTP no-till drill, the Genesis 3, planting the seed, drilling that seed in, took about 20 minutes at the most. We had four passes back and forth. We had to spray this and we sprayed it two or three times. Other than that though, we probably have an hour, hour and 15 minutes into this switchgrass screening that's 12 to 20 feet wide for a quarter mile long. So great opportunity to get screening in quickly. This switchgrass has only had one summer of growth on it. This next summer, it should be right up here and that's the height we want. Now, compare that to if we staggered five to six foot spruce or pine plantings in the same location, or shrubs, or even miscanthus grass plantings. A lot of people ask me, what do you think about miscanthus grass? I think it's great for small bedding areas, tight corners and fields, but on a screening line, you're talking planting hundreds. In fact, six, 700, if you space five, six foot apart and you have four rows and you do the math, you're talking hundreds of plantings and many, many man hours to get this established. Switchgrass, we put this in in about an hour and 15 minutes. We're putting it in clean with chemicals, so we don't have a lot of weed growth. We're gonna put some simazine on here in March, get some of the, uh, rid of some of the broadleaf weeds that are coming in. But we have a very effective screen that we took less than two hours to establish. And in two summers of growth, it's six, seven feet tall. And it even offered some screening value this year, because you can already see a lot of it's about 40 inches tall. So consider switchgrass for your screening. There's a lot of great options for, you know, pines and conifers for long-term switch grass for long term, short term, and then Egyptian wheat or some type of sorghum or plot screen for short term. But boy, the switch grass does a lot for you quickly, not a lot of man hours. And for this small planting right here, literally probably 20 bucks in seed and chemicals and we were finished. Try it out. If you have some screening to do, switch grass might be a perfect option for you. And you can see here in, in towards the end of February, it's still standing strong. And if it was six, seven feet tall during the summer, it'd be up here standing strong. Try it, I don't think you'll be disappointed.